This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have imported my logo, you can use any logo of your choice for this logo reveal, these complete After Effects template is also available on my store, the link for template is provided in the description, now let's start with creating this logo reveal, create a new composition, name it as logo reveal, for this logo reveal, I will set time duration to just 5 seconds, remaining everything will be same. Now add the logo to the timeline, you can scale your logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it. Here I will name it as logo. Select move all attribute into the new composition. For this logo composition, we will go to layer, select auto trace. This will create mask for your logo. If you can't see the mask layer, check the mask visibility is on, here you can see the mask created. Here we will remove this keyframes, we don't need it. Press U to view all keyframes, now select all and hit delete. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as Saba1. Now let's hide this logo composition, now we need to copy this mask and paste it over the Saba layer. Perfect, now for this Saba 1 layer, go to effects, from video copilot, select Saba, if you can see this Saba raw video copilot option, then make sure you have installed the Saba plugin, download link for Saba plugin is provided in the description, now for Saba, in customize core. Set core type to, layer mask. Now select preset to, narrow. Let's hide the mask outlines. Now we will set the glow intensity to, 0%. Here you can set outline color of your choice. At start of the timeline, create keyframe for mask evolution. Now go at near about distance of 1 second and 10 frames. Change mask evolution to, 45 degrees. Now for Saba layer, press U to view keyframes, select end keyframes, change keyframes assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph, as shown. Now at one second, create keyframe for end offset. Now at start, Set end offset to, 0. You can see the preview. Now for Sabal layer, press U to view keyframes. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's change this Saba layer to 3D. Press P to bring up position. Now at 1 second and 20 frames, create keyframe for position. Set Z position value to, 50. Now at start of the timeline, set position value to, 2050. You can see the preview. Select end keyframes, 
change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph. Perfect. Now for Saba layer. Change mode to add. Perfect. Now let's create 4 duplicate of this Saba layer. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Now press P to bring up the position. Here we will adjust the position of the end keyframes. We will place them at distance of 5 frames from each other. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now we will adjust the position value for start keyframes, for above Seba, I will set it to near about 1000. For each position, we will set them at some distance of 100 to 200. You can see the preview. Now let's create another solid layer. Name it as Saba 2. Now again copy this mask layer from logo composition. Now paste it over Saba 2 layer. Here you can check if mask are applied or not. Now let's add the Saba effect. From video copilot, select Saba. In customize core, select core type 2, layer mask. Now let's set preset to Proton. Set core size to 3. For this Seba, at start of the timer line, create keyframe for mask evolution. Go at 1 second and 10 frames, change mask evolution to 45 degree. Now at 10 frames, create keyframe for start offset. Now at 1 second and 10 frames. Change offset to 99%. Now at near about 1 second, create keyframe for end offset. Now at start, change end offset to 0. Now press U to view keyframes. Select end keyframes for mask evolution. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph. Select start offset keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph. Now select end keyframe of end offset, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this Sabal layer. Press U to view keyframes. For mask evolution, change end keyframe value to 160 degree. For start offset, change end keyframe value to 30%. For end offset, change end keyframe value to 45%. Here we will set the same color for Saba 1 and Saba 2. If you want you can create a color difference to get mixed output. Also set mode to add. Here you can see the preview. Here we will adjust the intensity for the Saba. For Saba 2 I will set glow intensity to 15%.
Now again create duplicate of Sabah 2. Press U to view keyframes, for this Sabah layer, we will change the preset to hardcore. Let's change the color. Change glow intensity to 15%. Change core size to 0.70. Let's remove the start offset keyframe, set start offset keyframe to 100%. Maybe let's set it to 0%. Change Sabah 2 layers to 3D. Let's enable this logo composition, press T to bring up opacity, now at 10 frames, create keyframe for opacity, set opacity to 0%. Now at near about 25 frames, set opacity to 70%. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, you can see the preview. Now let's create a new camera. Now create a null object. Change null to 3D, parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position. Now at near about 2 seconds, create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timer line, increase the position value to near about 2500. You can see the preview. Let's change the logo composition to 3D. You can see the preview. Now for null. Press R to bring up rotation. At 2 seconds, create keyframe for Z, rotation. Now at start of the timer line, change Z rotation to, minus 35 degree. Now select end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph. Now press P to bring up position, select end keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph. You can see the preview. Now at near about 3 seconds and 20 frames, create keyframe for position. Now at end of the timer line, increase Z position value as shown. Perfect. Now press R to bring up rotation, at 3 seconds and 20 frames, create keyframe for rotation, now at end of the timer line, change rotation to, minus 35 degree. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our logo reveal is created, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.